Hi guys and welcome. So you're joining me today for a sewing tutorial on um, making a net under knee skirt. Now when I say net under knee skirt, it's not just going to be a petticoat. No, it's a petticoat with a twist. I ordered these all from Fabricland last Thursday and they arrive Saturday. And I've got two for 10 colours, two metres of each colour. So what I'm planning to do is, initially I was going to do two colours on one layer. But what I've decided now is I'm only going to do one layer per colour and just have them layered rainbowed. Beautiful. And as I said, it's one with a twist. So what I'm planning on doing with this is doing the petticoat on a full slip. Not a half slip, a full slip. Don't think it's been done on an adult one before. I've seen them kid, little kids one where they've got little petticoats on, but not an adult one. So remember, you saw it here first. Now, if this turns out like, like the picture I've got in my mind, I'm gonna absolutely love it, love it. So what you need to decide when you're making your own petticoat is first of all, how long you want it to be. Um, uh, the skirts and dresses that I made myself last year, um, I've started having them a longer length now. Uh, I think when you're quite short, I mean, I'm five foot three, but when you're short, we a longer skirt, um, it's a circular skirt with a petticoat underneath and some knock out dead heels on. It slims your legs and makes you look taller. Now, this petticoat I'm making today, I'm actually making to, to wear with my longer ones. And I want I want the petticoat to be two inch shorter than my uh, skirts and dresses. Um, so what I've worked out, I've actually uh, laid a petticoat on top of one of my skirts, measured it. And then uh, I've worked out what I need this to be. This one, I'm going to cut this to um nine and a half so each strip will be nine and a half inch so i'm going to start by measuring this and it's just wide enough to do three nine and a half inches so literally i'm just going to start by measuring this out so we've got I'm going to pull this back over and I'm just going to start cutting it. Now how this is going to work, this piece here, I've got to cut down the edge because that's where it's folded over. But this particular, these two pieces is going to be the top tier. The other two, you're going to have four pieces. And that's going to be what's going to go on underneath your top tier because you need your gather. So you've got twice as much there. You're going to have two pieces that you're going to attach, join at the top to make your band. On the bottom, it's going to be four pieces to make your band that you're going to uh, gather up to fit on your top one. Okay, so I'm just going to start by clipping those two ends together and then I'm going to fetch this piece down bring these up and I'm going to clip that together one two I'm going to fetch that up fetch this across and then I'm going to clip this now there's no point in putting pins in, in netting because it's just going to fall through the holes. So these clips come in fantastic when it comes to this. And then you just need to fetch this over and we're going to clip that to that one. And there we've got this continuous loop that's going to be the bottom tier. So that's that. So I'm going to simply put that lemons together and clip those. Fix 
this across and then just clip that side and you just want to be careful that you don't twist it because sometimes if you're turning it and it twists you'll have to undo it and redo it so just make sure that you've got it so it's your continuous loop so that is so on my top tier bear in mind it was a two meter um piece wasn't it but because i've cut that into two pieces four meters the bottom one you've got four pieces so you've got eight meters so where in the other ones when i bought my four meters my two meters are still going to work great because i've still got my one layer so i'm going to set the machine up so we can just stitch those seams Okay, so what I've got here is, this is the four pieces stitched together. This is what I need to stitch and gather to fit onto the top tier. And now I'm going to measure that. I'm going to just put that down there for a sec, because I'm going to be stitching that by hand. Uh, I'm going to simply get some cotton. I'm going to get some cotton, and I'm literally going to take this to the end. I'm going to pull it to this end and then I'm going to cut it so I've got enough overlap to hang down from the needle. So there, that's what I'm allowing as, as I'm stitching to hang down. So when I want to be stitching two panels of the four panels to go on one of these panels, I hope this isn't confusing you, there's two panels, four. Two needs to go on one. The other two needs to go on the other one. But I'm going to cut two pieces of cotton to that length so that I know when I've gathered that, that's going to fit perfect onto that. Yeah? So that's me one piece. Okay, so let me just cut another one. Right, so this is where the magic's going to start to happen. So I'm actually going to just start now by tacking... Um, I'm literally probably just going down, um, it's not quite a centimetre, um, just underneath and I'm going to start tacking so I've done um, two of the pieces that's been joined, so it'll be four metres that I'm going to be doing. So I've just reached there, the seam, and at this point, let me just, because if that, right, so I just need to get a little bit of that out and pull that back, because that is, you know, the, the, the amount I left to hang down by the needle. So I'm actually just going to tie that off now. I'm going to keep doing so many stitches so that it doesn't come undone. And that is my two gathered which will come to that so i'm going to do exactly the same on the other two lens and then i'll get back to you right so i'm back at the table and what i've just done is clip the two the top and the bottom tiers together so i've made sure that the right side of the fabric is together and clipped it now what i'm going to do now is the top tier which is only consists of two pieces I'm going to get the clips that I've just pinned at both sides. I'm going to get it in the middle and I'm going to put a clip there. So that's the centre of it. And then what I'm going to do at this side, where I've just clipped it, I need to get the piece that is stitched. Oh, it's here. And then this, I'm going to clip to the pin so that I've got one piece to a quarter, one piece to a quarter. And then what I need to do here is I need to make sure that um, the gathers are pretty even. So 
I'm just going to titivate this so that I've not got too many in one place and not enough in another place. Let's get that down there. And then I'm just going to go along once I'm happy with how I've got them and clip them. I'm going to put my clip in and then again I'm going to just go through this and just make sure that the uh, um, the gathers are evenly distributed right, let's have a look look So we're going to go back to the machine at this point and actually stitch that in position. Now, when I'm doing this, I always have the gathered side on top because then if I need to play about with it, I can do it at ease instead of struggling if it's underneath. So let me just get under here and I'm going to use the side of my foot at this side on the inside i'm going to use that as a gauge for, for running the uh, netting up to uh, as my guideline so as this i am slightly altering the uh, the gathering as i'm sewing So when you're doing this as well and you're going across along, you're just making sure that all this gathering is laying, that it's not getting tucked under, so you are adjusting it all the time as you're sewing round it. Right, so at this moment in time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unpick, not unpick, I'm going to pull through, you know, the um, tacking that I put in so that I've not got that in. And I'm literally just going to pull it. At this moment in time that is all I'm going to do with this layer. So I'm simply going to go and repeat this process with all the other colours and then we'll come back and take it from there. There's two different types of net that I got. There were some that was nylon and some that was polyester. And the polyester one is really hard and stiff. So it's scratchy on the end. The nylon one is much softer. Now, the reason I've got two is because um, I was going to get them all in nylon if they'd got the colours that I wanted, but they only had it in five colourways. So I only ended up getting two and then the rest are, are polyester. So I've decided that I'm going to overlock the, the seams and the bottom part of what's going to be the net and then when it's joined in the middle I'm going to overlock that again so that everything's nice and smooth um, and it's not going to be catching so I'm going to show you on just on one what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to do the rest uh, off camera again so uh, let's get to it with this
So as you've got the seam there that I've just overlocked, I'm going to be having the right side facing up so that you've got the neater, neater side of the overlocking showing. And then literally I'm just running all the way around this on the bottom. And as you can see on the overlocker, I'm using this finger as a guide and I'm literally pulling it at the front of the needle plate. Um, the needle plate, where I call it, is this metal plate that sat underneath the foot. So I'm literally putting my finger to the front and that is a guide for the netting just to go straight and not go this side to the blade. So once again, you can see that that is the guide, but with my hand, I've got my middle finger underneath the net and my thumb on top and I'm not holding that I'm literally just letting the netting run through it so the machine is just taking it okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this to the top tier I'm going to go and uh, stitch it and then I'll come back and just show you I'm going to overlock it and then that's that tier overlocked until it comes to attaching it to the bodice. So I'm back at the overlocker and basically I'm just going to overlock all around where I've just joined the, the bottom and the top pieces together. And if you do this, what you're watching for is this piece that's actually gathered. You just need to make sure that this is not going to be curling up and get stitched in. Um, so you just as you're doing it here, you just need to be making sure that it's all laying flat. And same underneath, you can feel if any of that is folding in. So just make sure when you're doing it that you're actually feeling it as you're sewing it. You're aware of what it's doing. So that is the red panel finished, complete until it's ready to be joined uh, together to some others before actually being um, attached to the bodice piece. So I'm going to do exactly the same on all the other colourways. Okay, so every layer now has been, um, the tiers have been joined, all the overlocking's been done around the bottom and on the seams. So I'm at the stage now where I'm actually going to be just clipping um the different layers together these i've got there will be the four top then you've got this is going to be the middle section and then i've got two colors left and what i'm going to do first of all i'll just decide which color it's going to be green yellow let's have a look put that in there Just checking that's all about the colourways in there. Or do I want it that way? No, 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 no. I'm going to go for the green there. And what I'm simply doing is I'm putting one inside the other. And where I've got there you can see the uh, the overlocking so i'm making sure that both the overlocking is facing that way so this is the right side that's the right side um, i'm going to make sure as well that where i've got the joins that they're meeting up on the side and i'm simply going to get a clip and clip it and then i'm simply going to go all the way around off clipping it all the way around giving it a bit of a shake
Right, so what I'm going to do now then, I've got all these three clipped in place. So you've got four levels there, four levels there, two levels here. And I'm simply going to go to the juke and I'm simply just going to top stitch all the way around the top just to hold them in place at this moment in time. Okay, so we're at the juke to top stitch this down. And it's pretty much just sewing all the way around it so it's going to hold it in place. So I'm going to do that same process with the other two um, sets that I've put together. So I've clipped them together and I'm simply going to fetch them in and do the same as what I've done with this, just simply repeating the process. Right, so the next phase that I'm going to be doing on the petticoat, I've got this together and where I have just stitched the different layers together, I'm simply going round and tacking it so that I'm going to sort of be able to pull it to the size that I'm going to want it once the top part is made. This is going to be an extremely uh, full petticoat, but over time and probably after I've worn it, let's say, maybe half a dozen times, uh, it will go down in fullness because uh, it does get softer and start to go a lot flatter than what it originally is. They always do. <laughs> So that's what I've got it to at the minute. There, like so. And I'm just going to leave that cotton hanging down. And it's extremely, extremely hard cotton, this. You physically can't break it with your hands. Uh, so I know there's no chance of it snapping on that. So where I'm at now with the petticoat, all these layers are all joined together at the top tier. What I wanted to share with you also that I've added to it and I've added and this is inside the net and it's it's a satin piece um, that I've just put some lace round and what I've done is I've done it so that the right side the satin is facing in so the softness is going to be on my legs um, and I've done that to make that you basically do it to the same scenario as what you do the net so it's simply one layer, two tiers, and I've done it on a ratio of the top tier is 1.5 widths and the bottom is three widths. So it's not as wide as this, but it doesn't need to be because all this is doing, because sometimes it can be a bit um, prickly uh, netting. But I've purely put this in just to make it more comfortable, basically, on my legs when I'm wearing it. So my next step is to actually now make the uh, top part. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying this, which is a tankini top. I'm going to be trying this on with a half petticoat. And then all I'm going to be doing is measuring from where this underarm is to the, um, the area on the petticoat. So I'm going to try them on and then I'll come back to you. So I'm simply, this top is a size 16 and I'm actually at 18. So I'm actually going to cut it a bit bigger, uh, make it up and then try it on before I actually attach the bottom uh, net into it. So let me get some tailor's chalk out here. Okay, that's not very really good. Right, I'm going to fold this in half now, just to make sure that the side, the sa they're the same on the sides. Right, so that's there. Right, let me just measure how deep this front bit is. Eight inch, then so to get this, 
so this is going to be this row and it needs to be eight inch I'll measure that from the glove let's have a look do, 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 do. yeah so from here that needs to be eight inch and then going across here So what I'm doing now is I'm just basically mirroring the lining that goes on the bust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the front piece that will be the right side and that will be the right side so they need to go like so so I need to cut the back piece out now I'm going to fold this in half again to make sure that they are um, how they should be. Yeah, it's pretty good that piece. Right, so whenever you're going to be doing any sewing um, on a different fabric, you should always do it on a tester piece uh, to make sure what your stitch is like. So uh, what we're doing at this stage then, I'm going to literally just start by hemming the hem. I'm also doing the top of the back piece. Right, so what I've got here is my elastic that I'm going to be putting on the bottom so that I'm actually going to just go because in this top here you can see the elastic there it's actually on um, the right side there inside so I'm going to do exactly the same spec but I'm going to go and do it on my flatbed and I'm literally, when I've just overlocked across the bottom of that, I'm literally going to sew that elastic over the top like so. So I've got the right side of the fabric facing up, facing me. And I'm literally, like I said, I'm just going to place that elastic and run the edge where the overlocking is. So I'm just going to pull that to this side and I'm going to just get it in the centre and then I'm going to pull the edges so the level of stitching on that okay let's go for it again get all my cottons cut off okay so basically that is it double stitched that's it on the other side okay right so i've got some beautiful bra strapping can you see how gorgeous that is? I've literally cut these. Um, so now I'm just going to put these inside the front. So 
on the top on the tankini top it went to a point but i've done it to a square to incorporate the bra straps so you can see that i've actually just shaped them like that at the top so at this point i've got the fabrics right sides together and then i'm gonna have the bra strapping coming down inside now let me just make sure that's the right way that that is going to be yes and i'm going to clip that bra strapping in place so that's one we get the other one there and I'm going to clip that in place and then what I'm just going to check is that when that's going to be turned the right way that my bra strapping has got the glitter bit uh, coming up the front and it is so at this moment in time what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the flatbed and I'm going to really reinforce that strapping so I'm going to come up the arm across the strapping and then I'm going to come round the neckline line and then down the other side of the arm. I'm just going to keep back tacking and back tacking and back tacking so that strap ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I'm going to get the centre of this neckline. Once again, that strapping's going nowhere. Okay. So I have pulled it the right way around now, okay, so you can see how these are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just simply going to go around and do the, um, you know, that where you sew just as close to the, uh, the seam as you can. the seam this way the little bit that there is of it I'm going to come as far as I can up here now I'm not going to be able to get right to the top so I'm simply going to come there and just back tack and take that out right so basically you can just see there that it's uh, You can see there that that is going to be a nice, neat finish on the bust area. Right, so what I've just been and done, and I've done it off camera, and it's the back piece here that goes across the back. I've literally just gone and I've just twin needled the top of the back. So what I'm going to do now then, I'm going to be putting the front piece together to the back 
Right, so let me just clip the top of that. There'll be three pieces here at the top end because I've got the, the lining on the bust as well as the front and the back. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the juke and I'm literally just stitching down both sides and I'm going to come to the overlock and I'm going to overlock the sides, but I'm going to stitch it in place so it's nice and secure before I go to the overlocker. So I've just been and tried it on and uh, the fit's great. Uh, so I'm just going to overlock now down the sides. So you can see there that I have literally just been top stitching it. I'm going to come from this side up. What I'm going to do on these, I'm literally going to go back to the flatbed. I'm going to do it off camera because it's a little tiny job. And basically, where I've got that overlocker, I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to top stitch that in place. I'm going to do the same on both sides and the same on the bottom. So I'm going to have a play about where I want the, the bra straps to be. I'm going to be having them come in... Uh, further into the centre of the back than what's on the original top because um, I've got my strapping but um, I haven't got the plastic bits you know you can adjust your bra strap whether you want it tighter or looser uh, so I'm going to make these um, by doing that it's going to make sure that the bra strap isn't falling down off my arm so what I've just been doing now with the top part is basically I've just been trying it on and off on and off until I get the straps fitting perfect and what I've done if you can look at it here, I've put them quite near to the centre so that these, as I've said, are not going to be dropping down on my arm. And this, how I've done it, what I've done is I've simply um, got the strap, folded it up in place. So I'm just going to repin that back because that's perfect position. And then I'm going to go to the juke and I'm simply going to top stitch there, top stitch there, reinforcing it to hold those straps in, in place. And you can see there that they are top stitching position where you've got your two rows of stitching and on the inside you've got it secure so here we are then assembling the top to the first layer of net so what i'm going to do i've got this stood up on the table and this is the right side so i'm going to i'm going to put that this is the it's upside down obviously but this is the right side so I've got the side seam here and the side seam on the top and I'm simply going to clip that in place and then I'm going to clip the other seam to the other side. And then I'm literally going to stretch that out but I'm going to make sure that the pleat, not the pleating, the, the ruffle is roughly even all along. Right, so let me just get the mid the centre of that. Okay, and then let me get the centre of that. So that's going to be clipped there. And then I'm simply going to stretch that out. Let me just make sure that, yeah, I'm going to stretch that out and clip it to the top. It's starting to come together. Right, so when that's up, you can see there the shape that it's going to take. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then, I need to actually put that this way. Okay, so that's the front. Let me get the back here. Right, 
let me just first of all get the center of this so i've got clip clip get the center there and i'm going to put a clip in it and then the same with the back let me get the center of that Come on, honey bee. Put one in there. Right, okay. Let me get in here and get them centre clips. So I've got the clip on the net that's in the centre, clip on the top that's in the centre, and I'm literally going to put them together, take one out, clip them together. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take this to the joke and stitch that on. And I'm going to make sure I keep putting my finger in that the netting's not going to be folded up and putting a tuck there. making sure it's laying flat underneath by forcing it flat really So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to unpick the uh, tacking at this stage. Is there a knot in there? Right, so it looks like I've got all of that out. So that technically at this point, that, that could technically be a petticoat at this point. But no, I'm going bigger. So I'm now going to attach the second lot of netting to the first lot. Now, I've actually got this just stood up on the table, okay? And I'm just putting the blue to it. And I've got, um, I've just, where the seams are, I've got the seams to the blue. So they are going to run down the side. And then let me just get the other seam at the other side, which will be that one to that one right so where am i there here and here and i'm going to clip those two together okay so what i've got here then inside of the netting that's going to be close to my legs and then this is the top but this is the wrong side not the right side okay so let's get these clipped together
Okay, so. I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be a challenge to sew this last one. Because there's so much fullness there. Okay guys, so we're on the last the last leg. Uh, I'm going to aim to run around this twice, if not three times, to really secure it. Um... So once again, I'm looking underneath to make sure that there's no tucks getting stitched in. Right, so I'm going to take it out now and just check it for tucks on the inside and tucks on the outside. I'm going to have to move you back a bit so I can actually get it out and have a look. Okay. So. That's good. Have a look at this side. Lovely. So I am going to go around that one more time just to secure it. Alright, so what I'm going to go around here now and do it, I'm literally going to go around and just cut um, the netting off that's hanging over. Okay, I think that's it. Let me give that a shake. Okay, guys, you ready to see this? So this is obviously the outer and this is your top. Okay. Now, on the inside, I'm going to turn it inside so you can see. Inside out, should I say. And what I've got here is I've got the satin underskirt that's right way so I've got all this softness against my legs but you've got that which is all lovely and neat and tidy so you've got no raw uh, netting in and then where I said where I've just snipped it so you've basically got two lots of netting meeting each other there so when that's oh it's the other way isn't it <laughs> when that's all full and on You've got your neatness there and you've got your neatness inside because it's, it's sandwiched inside all your, your rough seams. So um, it's now 25 to 9 
um on a night so literally i have just finished it so tomorrow i'm going to try you this on let you see how it looks on give you a twirl um still bits that's been cut off in there and then we'll just see but just look look at that i did it i got me 10 layers that i was after and boy do i know that i've done it i don't know how many hours i've spent on it but it's been a hell of a lot but uh, i am well impressed with the end result uh, so as i said i'm going to try it on tomorrow for you and let you see the finished result on wearing it okay guys so this is the end result the final finished underskirt the top feels amazing it actually feels great the satin underskirt i can't feel any of the netting on my legs it just feels so comfortable um so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try an outfit on so you can actually see how much it sticks out okay so you can see now the final fullness of the underskirt um and it's absolutely really is I love it. I love the fullness. Now, the fullness won't last forever. Once it's had uh, a couple of washes, this is going to go down to the half amount of what it is once the netting has softened. Uh, but I'm well impressed uh, with this make. I really am. Um, I couldn't be happier. It feels great under my clothes. Um, and it's just a game changer. Uh, the top, like I say, great fit. Satin underskirt, no rubbing on my legs from the netting, really is great. So it's certainly been a marathon doing this project because I have spent so many hours doing it, but now I'm going to get so much pleasure out of wearing it. Um, so it is really, really easy to make um, because you don't need a pattern for a petticoat, it's just simple math. Um, but like I said, you can make them as big and as small as you like. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this make. I have tried to keep the video as short as possible for you. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and joining me. And uh, see you soon. Bye for now.